Now see, you gonna start something. <laughs> I, <didn't say laughs> you, I said I have yet to see. What you said in the offseason is that they I couldn't win. To they weren't gonna be as good of a team. I without, said you can't. No, I don't think any DeMarco, team DeMarco can Murray. win in this league without a consistent running game. And I think that has proven itself far beyond me bringing it and being a orator and bringing it out of my mouth. We have seen that enough. Um, so, so we're still looking to see that. You know, we're looking to see that. What would you consider? Or how would you assess what you saw in the scrimmage the other day? Well, we didn't see Joseph Randall, uh, the uh, starters, run that much, so uh, we'll see. What, let me ask you again. How would you assess what you <laughs> saw in the scrimmage the other day? It was the backups. So you're right where I am. You're still waiting to see. Oh, no doubt. That's what I said. That's what I said. That's what I said. You know, I'm just, you like that FedEx commercial. As I said, you said, I got you. But no, really, that's it. So we're still waiting to see. And the and, and good thing is Thursday, we'll get a chance to see some live bullets. I, I, I think it's imperative that we find a good, solid running game. And and, and best thing, I, I got a chance, you know, to watch. But I'm also talking to the guys. I talked to Darren McFadden. And I hear all the right things. I sense and feel all the right things that he can't wait to get out here and he's going to do some pretty good things because he feels this is a great opportunity. But yet I need to lay eye gate on him. I need to see it. So I'm looking forward to Thursday night meaningless scrimmage, as we call it meaningless. It really isn't so meaningless for us uh, guys that bleed blue and green like this. We want to see what's happening here.